Hi, Harriet. Hello, Helen. How are you? Fine, fine. How are you? I'm fine. Yep. Uh, the driver is downstairs waiting for you. Did you say the car is here? Yes. Okay, I'll be right down. Thank you. All right. All right. Welcome. Okay, Herman, so finally getting a new head office. How is it feeling like for you and for everyone in the bank? Well, I think uh, there's uh, quite a, a lot of uh, excitement um, to be getting a new home. Uh, I mean, people, many people were hired and they lived, essentially lived all their lives in, uh, in the head office at Cairo Road. So it's quite exciting and uh, we look forward uh, to the move. So what does a move mean for the bank and for its clients? I think uh, more if I may start with the bank and especially for the staff, it is to afford our staff a set-of-the-art facility built to suit, uh, quite modern, uh, it's a green kind of uh, um, a building. So it, it is a big deal and, and again uh, it goes to emphasize um, the kind of commitment that um, uh, the bank, as Standard Chartered Bank, has got to uh, to Zambia, when you look at the uh, kind of investment we've made in the move to the new head office. So for us, it's uh, it's a further demonstration of uh, the commitment we have to uh, Zambia as a key market for Standard Chartered Bank. Interesting. You've been in Zambia for quite some time. I know that uh, you are from Uganda. Um, and and so far during your stay, are there any Zambian local languages that you can speak? Not exactly speak, but I can understand uh, a few a few words from uh, probably a couple of uh, dialects in uh, in Zambian. Okay, uh, words like which one? Well, like I I know how to say thank you, Zikomo, uh, Tualumba. Um, uh, so there's a few things here and there. Okay. And how long did it take for you to just get a hold of that? Um, I should say, honestly, for some of them, uh, given that uh, where I come from, it's a Bantu tribe, it didn't uh, take me long actually to, uh, to find out that some of the words are actually similar. Okay. What is exciting about this new Standard Chartered Head Office? I think for me, one is the kind of facility that uh, we are getting into in Zambia. It's a state of the art. Uh, two is uh, the further demonstration that we are here for good. We are here to to stay. Okay, we've been in this in, in this market for more than 113 years. We are committed to stay here. We are we continue to lead in terms of innovations, in terms of uh, the digital uh, innovations. Uh, um, that uh, the, the new initiatives we're coming up with. But now this is further demonstration of what uh, we can do in this market by uh, coming up with uh, a new head office. Okay, and what are you going to miss about the old one? Hey, well, proximity to the central bank, especially before COVID-19, it was very easy to 
to get to the central bank. Sometimes I didn't need even a ride. I would just cross the road to go to the central bank. Um, but definitely, yeah, I'll not miss the traffic on Cairo Road. <laughs> no miss the traffic. So, what's what, the, the new head office? What is the one thing that you like? You're, you're really looking forward to the most about it. I think a couple of things. One is um, a facility where we can hold meetings, and, and we're hoping that we'll get over this uh, COVID-19 and be able to go back to the life as it was before, uh, given the, the promising uh, vaccines that we were hearing about. Yeah. Now we've got a facility where we can all get together. Uh, there's a, a beautiful courtyard where you, you can do town halls, but if, it, if, if the weather is not good, it's not permitting, we've got a large space in terms of a canteen that uh, we can um, we, we can still hold a meeting, a town hall, and get together as a uh, as the entire head office uh, group. So I think for me that is uh, very exciting. And um, but also in addition to that, uh, there are a lot of uh, collaboration areas within the building where a small number of people can easily get the sitting capacity, sit and have a, a meeting uh, in, a, in a free atmosphere. So lots of modern um, activities, our uh, kind of facilities, but also, We've got a uh, flexi setting, okay? So it means that uh, whoever, anybody can sit anywhere in the building and be able to do what they do, uh, their work. They'll be able to plug in any port that they can find and uh, be able to activate, log into um, uh, a telephone line uh, without any hassles. So I, I think for me, those, those are, that's some of the things that are quite exciting about the the new head office. It's it's a beautiful piece of infrastructure, and 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 I've spoken to Christina Kembe about this. Would you say this is the best building in Zambia? I think by far, by far, and it will be probably for for some time. It was a huge investment, a huge commitment by the bank. Um, the facility itself, I think most people have just seen what is outside. Yeah. But what is inside um, is a state of the art. A uh, state of the art. Uh, we, didn't, we, we didn't leave anything uh, or spare anything to come up with uh, this set of office. And uh, for us, uh, in terms of the, the group standards, this is about the third uh, country that has got such a facility uh, within the group. So the standards keep on improving. And the same group standards that were used, for instance, in Malaysia to come up with a new head office, I think, which they launched last year, have even, they've even improved that to come up with what we have in Lusaka, in Zambia. Okay. So earlier I said you're from Uganda yeah. and you've been in Zambia for some time. Zambia playing Uganda football match. What jersey are you wearing? <laughs> which team are you supporting? <laughs> well, if, uh, if, uh, if Uganda is visiting Zambia, and I am here to watch the game. I think I'll wear the Zambia jersey. Interesting. I will. Uh, I mean, I've, I've had a great time here, uh, and I think they will, my, my colleagues would understand it if they saw me wearing the jersey. <laughs> yeah. And so now coming back to the building, you guys spent forty million dollars. Why? Like, couldn't you have saved money? Like, what? What does this huge investment mean? What does? What does it say about? the bank? Well, I, I think I, it, a number of things, uh, Sui. Uh, like I said, we're the oldest bank in, in this country, more than 113 years. We've been leading in terms of uh, a number of firsts, call it uh, the digital banking, call it ATMs, uh, call it initiatives for so, um, working with MNOs and bringing new technology to, to, to the country. Now, for us now, going to the investments we've made, we don't look at the short term to say, oh, cut costs here, cut costs there, uh, be able to recover your costs in, in, in two years. When you're looking at real estate, it's more of a medium term play. So we're looking at 15 to 20 years. And the facility that we've put, to, uh, we've put down in Lusaka sh should continue to serve us for the next uh, 15 to 20 years. So that is uh, the kind of view we take when it comes to 
a real estate or head office uh, facilities. Wow. Okay. And 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 and, and, and for your clients. Um, the here for good and now the new building cementing that here for good what does it mean for your business relationship with your clients no that, that's a good a good question i think uh, many of our clients have already actually already coming to us and say that this has actually given them more confidence about the kind of partner they have in zambia okay they see that we are committed to the market we are committed to serving them better in terms of bringing the new technology. We are committed in terms of uh, exposing them to expertise that sits in the different uh, uh, centers of excellency. And now, going into a new home, uh, that just cements the kind of relationship that we have and the kind of commitment we have uh, uh, in Zambia. Okay, we're just approaching the building, but for the sake of those that don't know, where is this building located? I think that the, the easiest in terms of uh, giving directions is anybody who comes to the at suburb of a roundabout cannot miss this iconic building. Okay? There it is. There it is. So anywhere around um, the suburb of a roundabout, you will not be able to uh, miss the building. Okay. Uh, we're pulling over just now. Um, so we're, we're coming from Jacaranda Basic to the side, and now we're just joining Addis Ababa. So we're taking a left. And here is uh, the building. Uh, wow, this is a beautiful piece of, 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 of art. And, yeah, and uh, well, we're here. And yeah, we, we are here. And I feel like we're back at the wrong place. No, this is the right place. I think uh, they will be able to make arrangements for you. There's okay. also ample parking at the back. Ah, okay, That's interesting. Right. Yeah. So, uh, before I let you go, I'm going to just stop the car very briefly. Um, I'm going to give you like a lightning round. Like, I ask you questions. I want you to tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. Okay, I'll ask you a question. Tell me the first thing that comes to your mind. The five of them, okay? One, the new Standard Chartered Head Office is? Beautiful. If I was not a CEO, I would have been? Ah, real estate manager. Okay. Three, my favorite type of music is? Zook. What's that? Zook music. Zook music. What's that? Uh, Roomba. Ro oh, wow. Roomba. Interesting. Someone should open a standard chartered account because? We are the best international bank in uh, Zambia. Interesting. Number five, last question. In the next 10 years, standard chartered will be? We'll still be the number one. Okay. We'll be the number one bank. Thank you, Herman. Thank you. It was good having you. Okay, great. You can you can like a fist bump. You like a fist bump. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay, good. Okay, so now we're going into the actual building. Okay, cool. Great.